Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their energies towards you? What are their intentions and next possible actions? We'll cover all of that in this reading. As always, keep in mind these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every single Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation and leave the rest for Aquarius spirit. For Aquarius, regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. For Aquarius, please. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is in a connection with at this time. What is that person thinking or feeling? What are their current energies towards Aquarius or this connection? What are their current energies? Earthworm. So beginning stages of something with the earthworm, um, a total newbie. Um, this could signify that your person is new to you or this could be a new relationship, new connection, or they want to have a new beginning. Um, start over essentially with the earthworm. What else? Beaver, beautiful energy with the beaver. The beaver, um, they tend to be providers, hard workers, dedicated and loyal, family oriented. So I feel like your person's intentions are to have something very solid with you. All right, Aquarius, what are your energies? What are Aquarius's energies towards this person's spirit? What are their energies towards this person they're connecting with at this time? Fish. So you have no idea here what to do. You're just going with the current. Seeing where it takes you. Um, the fish doesn't really have a direction. So I feel like in your mind, you don't know where this is going, where this is headed, what your person is going to do next. You're probably curious about what they're thinking because they probably don't share that with you. What else? Or this could be you. You could be unsure of what to, what to make of this connection. What else for Aquarius? Elk. Wow like the king of pentacles in the deck <laughs> so you're very solid grounded stable ready for commitment thinking of long-term hard-working energy so you're both very well matched in that regard so let's see what is going on here for aquarius spirit what do we need to know about their connection for aquarius what do we need to know about the connection with this person? Give me some insight into Aquarius and this person. How they feel about each other, what are the energies? Alright, so we're just going to do one more shuffle here. For Aquarius. Let's start with your person. What can you tell me about the person that Aquarius is in with spirit? What can you tell me about their energies? Any more insight into their current energies at this time? Death reversed. <clears throat> Scorpio energy. Resisting change. Resisting endings. Unwilling or unable to have an ending or a change. Let's see. What else can you tell me about their person? Justice, Libra energy. Wow, Major Arcana is right off the bat. Truth, logic, justice, balance. Queen of Wands. There's something that they want. There could be a lot of attraction towards you here. Six of Swords, reverse. Again, um, I feel like they might um, be resisting a departure possibly here. I am going to clarify later on. What else can you tell me about how this person thinks or feels? 
Okay, we got the five of cups reversed. So someone here is wanting to regain what they lost. Um, they could be not over the past completely. Um, maybe they're focusing on the past a little bit too much, or they're finally healing from whatever was disappointing, whatever was um, sad or um, difficult. So let's see, what about you, Aquarius? Tell me about Aquarius. What are the energies? For Aquarius, please. About Aquarius, what is Aquarius's energies at this time? Page of Pentacles. So you want to make some sort of an offer here. Hermit reversed. Virgo energy with the Hermit reverse. You might be a little too withdrawn or avoiding certain things here. Maybe you're ignoring your intuition about something. Four of Pentacles reversed. Ready to let go or refusing to let go. We'll see when I clarify. Higher font reversed. Some of you could be leaving a commitment or rebelling against expectations that others have for you. And Six of Pentacles reversed. So there's an imbalance here. Uh, maybe you um, have more more to give than someone else. Maybe you are willing to make more of an effort than someone else here. There's an imbalance here. Your person may be wanting to rebalance a situation. So let's clarify and see. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Aquarius, please. Help me clarify these energies. By the way, we do reversals on this channel. If you don't like reversals, this channel is not for you. I get comments sometimes like, why are your cards reversed? Well, I don't pick them. <laughs> I, I don't know what cards are coming out. Tell me about death reverse. I'm not here to give you a message that I want to give you. It's whatever message comes out. Ten of Cups. Interesting. This could be related to a family. Why the death reverse? Why death reverse? Two of Pentacles. So your person is going back and forth about ending something that I feel has to do with the family or has to do with their ultimate happiness here, their emotional fulfillment. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? There could be a legal matter involved for your person. Or someone's just looking at things, you know, the tr you know, there's possibly confusion um, or um, temptations, fantasies, illusions here, choices. And someone's looking at them very logically and rationally. They're really weighing the pros and cons here. Four of Wands. I think this has to do with, again, family. Someone they live with. Something to do with moving, home. Harmony in the home. There's a lot of thinking, but not a lot of moving. A lot of like going back and forth, juggling, um, going, you know, weighing the pros and cons, but no action until I, you know, this Queen of Wands here. What's this Queen of Wands want? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the Queen of Wands. What's this Queen of Wands about? It's way too many. It's like five cards. What's this Queen of Wands about? Queen of Wands about. Ten of Swords reversed. Again, I feel like there's an ending happening for your person, but it's almost like they're either avoiding it or trying to delay it or something like that. 
Tell me about the Queen of Wands, please. Okay. Five of Wands. Can I get one more? Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Empress reversed. Interesting. Empress reversed. So it's almost like your person. Again, with a lot of people, your person. I think when it. Okay, so hold on. I'm getting in so many messages. <laughs> so these are the messages that I'm getting. The first message is that you are this queen of wands. This is how your person sees you. Someone attractive, magnetic, lots of chemistry. Um, someone who gets things done. Uh, your person views you this way. Um, I feel like when they think of you, there is conflict that automatically comes to mind. Conflict either that has happened in the past. Maybe there was an ending between you in the past. Maybe they want forgiveness over what happened. Um, maybe they left you behind and you were really upset. You could have be this Empress reversed as well. Um, there could be someone in their life that doesn't want them to, to approach you. The second message I'm getting here is that your person wants to take action, but there is conflict that they have to take care of first. Uh, there's a mess here that they have to take care of first. And I think it's a family issue. Tell me about the Six of Swords reverse. Okay, we got the Seven of Wands reverse. So they no longer want to fight about the six of swords reverse they could be wanting to return um and recover what was lost overcome what was lost the sun reverse i don't think you know this is happening or that they're feeling this way tell me about the six of swords reverse three of wands they could be waiting for the right time here with the three of wands and there's delays because there's hesitation or some whatever they're going through right now is causing some sort of delay here. Yeah, they're waiting to let go of a burden. Yeah, look at this. Seven of Swords, Two of Cups flipped over. I'm not going to take them because I didn't ask my question, but... I was thinking about this three of wands and these two came over. So it's almost like they're they're trying to wait for the, the right time so they can have the best strategy in order to either um, come together with you or have, you know, make something happen with you. But with the magician reverse at the bottom, there could be delays or it could just not, not happen for them. We'll see. Tell me about the five of cups reverse. What is this about this five of cups reverse? Yeah, they've been lonely, missing you, struggling, and they don't want that to be feeling like that. If they ended up somewhere else, they regret it. I can tell you that right now. And it's almost like they want to overcome this. They want to heal this, not have this distance or coldness between you. I think this person is either married or in some sort of long-term commitment, or they are just not financially stable or grounded right now to give you what you want. They want to send you a message or start something new. This is that earthworm energy. This is their, I feel their intention. However, there's something here where it's like, they're not in the best state right now. They want to be a king of pentacles because that's what you are. They want to match you in that. But you don't have anything, they don't have anything to give you right now. They have a lot of passion, but they can't really offer you commitment. And for some reason, I feel like their investment, you know, if they invested in this Empress, it blew up in their face. Whatever they manifested blew up in their face here. It's it's just not working out. Um, it could also be that they're very comfortable where they're at and so it, it even if there's a lot of conflict and drama they're comfortable there you know so it's going to take more for them to get out of that state you know it's like i feel like all they're doing is waiting and thinking so let's see over here why is the hermit reverse for you 
Where's the Hermit Reverse for Aquarius? Where's the Hermit Reverse? The world reversed. There's a lack of closure, but at the same time, you're not you're not ready to face that. Ooh, I got a page of cups. Tell me about the hermit reverse. There's a cycle that hasn't been wrapped up here. I feel it's because you don't know what direction to go. Nine of cups reverse. Your wish was not granted. You didn't get what you wanted, and you like ran away, withdrew. Possibly you felt powerless with the Emperor Reverse. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles Reverse. I feel also like because you have a lack of closure, you're not able to, to listen to your intuition. Two of Cups came out again. I feel like you want to let go of this relationship. <laughs> Seven of Swords came out. Something about this person's actions or behavior, I feel like it turns you off a little bit here. Like you like you can't really trust them. What's at the bottom? Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to communicate how they feel. They possibly want to apologize, um, be honest with you about their true intentions. This is someone genuine, the Knight of Cups. But I think your person, in order to get to you, um, or whatever happened in the past, I think you're looking at them as the Seven of Swords, someone sneaky, someone who avoids conflict, someone who doesn't have the courage to speak the truth or uh, do things the right way. I think you see them that way. So it doesn't matter what they say. Tell me about the Hierophant Reverse. Could be that they want to have a two of cups with you, but at the same time, not leave their marriage or their commitment right now, which, what? Tell me about the Hierophant reverse. Two of wands. Someone here could have cheated. Because the two of wands is someone that kind of has their eye, constantly a wandering eye, because they, they're never truly satisfied. They're always looking for what else is out there, what the potential is of a different paths. It could also be that you um, have broken a commitment or a commitment was broken because someone was ready to try something else, uh, have a new beginning for themselves. Chariot reversed. There's a, there's a, ch a change in direction needed. There's the king of wands, yeah. You, you you are changing direction. Either you did this in the past or you're ready to do this now. You, you've you evaluated paths that you could take. And I think it's almost like if you are in a commitment right now, um, you are ready to break that commitment to go down a different path. If you are not in a commitment, this is you breaking social norms so you're doing you're rebelling against what's expected of you and going down a different path tell me about the six of pentacles reverse tell me about the six of pentacles reverse for gemini not gemini for aquarius what did I say, gemini? <laughs> by the way you have virgo taurus cancer on your side here and your person over here has leo and possibly Taurus, Libra, Libra, and Scorpio, as well as Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's a lot of signs here, though. Tell me more about this, or tell me about this Six of Pentacles reverse, please. Yeah, you're breaking free, um, Aquarius. Hopefully I didn't call you Gemini any other time in this reading. <laughs> Eight of Cups reversed. So with the Eight of Cups reversed, here for you, and the world reversed, and the chariot reversed, I feel like you wanna move on, but something's holding you back. You have to break free of something. I think you know this. You have to rebalance the situation. You want to make this happen but it, there's some sort of delay. 
And I feel like also this could be, um, this could be that you are ready to open up and not be so guarded as well with the four of pentacles reversed. However, I don't think you trust this person completely. And I think it's because yeah, there's some sort of history here. I think this person that you're dealing with wants to start over with you. But I also feel like both of you are in some sort of bind. And your person is going back and forth about how to have their ultimate happiness, how to have stability, how to be a king of pentacles, how to heal a connection. I feel like you, you've shut this person out and now it's like they want to manifest something and I don't think it's working for them. They might have waited too long um, or they're also being delayed from leaving their situation in order to come to you. There's a lack of closure between you that's keeping you tied to each other. 